Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Farms, where we delve into the fascinating world of home farming and gardening. Today, we're going to explore one of the most essential processes in plant life, photosynthesis. This is how plants create their food and sustain life on Earth. Let's dive in. Photosynthesis is the process by which plants convert light energy into chemical energy, enabling them to produce their own food. This fundamental process not only supports plant growth and survival, but also serves as the foundation of life on Earth, providing oxygen and organic matter to the entire ecosystem. Photosynthesis primarily takes place in the leaves of plants, specifically within the specialized cell structures known as chloroplasts. These chloroplasts contain chlorophyll, a pigment that gives plants their green color and plays a vital role in capturing light energy. The overall chemical equation for photosynthesis is six CO2s plus six H2Os plus light energy, C6H12O6s plus six O2s. This means that carbon dioxide and water using light energy are transformed into glucose and oxygen. Glucose serves as the plant's energy source, while oxygen is released into the atmosphere. Light is a crucial component of photosynthesis. Plants capture light energy using chlorophyll and the chloroplasts. This energy drives the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into glucose, a form of sugar that plants use for energy and growth. The light spectrum most effective for photosynthesis includes the blue and red wavelengths. This is why the growth lights you see and buy for home use often emit these specific colors. Water is another essential ingredient in photosynthesis. Plants absorb water from the soil through their roots, which then travels up through the plant's vascular system to the leaves, which is used in the photosynthesis process. Within the chloroplasts, water molecules are split into oxygen, protons, and electrons during a process called photolysis. The oxygen is released as a byproduct, while the electrons and protons are used in, a pro in producing glucose. Carbon dioxide taken from the air through small openings in the leaves called stomata is another crucial component of photosynthesis. During the process, carbon dioxide is combined with electrons and protons from water to form glucose. Photosynthesis occurs in two main stages, the light-dependent reactions and the light-independent reactions, also known as the Kelvin cycle. In the light-dependent reactions, light energy is captured by chlorophyll and used to produce ATP and NADPH which are energy carriers. This stage takes place in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplasts. The ATP and the NADPH produced are then used in the Calvin cycle, which occurs in the stroma of the chloroplasts. Here, carbon dioxide is fixed into a stable intermediate and ultimately converted into glucose. The glucose produced through photosynthesis serves as the primary energy source for plants. It's used for growth, reproduction, and other vital processes. Additionally, oxygen, a byproduct of photosynthesis, is essential for the survival of most living organisms, including us humans. To recap, photosynthesis is a process where plants convert light energy, water, and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen. This process is vital for plant growth and provides oxygen we breathe. Understanding photosynthesis gives us a deeper appreciation of how plants sustain life on Earth. Whether you're a home gardener or just curious about plant science, knowing how plants make their own food can help you better care for your green friends. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on home farming and gardening. See you next time.